An all-new Eye on the Bay in HD starts right now. Time to say welcome to Eye on the Bay. Hello and welcome to Eye on the Bay. He's Brian Hackney. And he's Liam Maklum. And we have got really a fun show planned for you this week because Eye on the Bay is hitting the road. Yes, we're off on a week-long exploration of a part of the Sierra and gold country that few Californians have ever seen. We're going to do it by ATV, by bike, by boat, by horse, and by raft. But we're not going to take I-80. Instead, we're going to hit some cool side roads. And for the next four nights, you can ride along. There's too many of us to fit my 1964 MGB. We needed something bigger and maybe even somebody to drive. And that's why the trip began this morning back at JC's RVs in Livermore. All right, for the big trip, someone's got to be behind the wheels. Brian Hackney? No. Me? No. Barney? How you doing, Liam? Hello, sir. You're our driver for the week. What else do you do here? Um, I'm the all-around guy. The all-around guy? We do, I do everything from A to Z here. Oh, good. So on the RV, you're going to drive, cook for us, and uh, make our beds. Cooking and cleaning? <laughs> I might have to get a raise on this one. It's right here, this house? Well, that's a nice unit, but I have something a little bit bigger than this in do life for you. Oh, my word. We have a, an 04 Atasca Horizon. Yep. It's okay. considered a Class A motorhome. The sides pop open. Yep. It gives you uh, four foot of extra room on each slide. Okay. Um, it's got the back bedroom, yep. queen bed, TV, VCR, DVD, full kitchen. This is your, this is your, your walk-in shower. Are you kidding me? It's going to be the best week of your life. Or the worst. By the way, before the trip, I made one additional stop to the House of Humor in Redwood City because I needed to pick up a few extra supplies for my co-host, Liam. He's like terrified of the natural world. What can we do to scare him to death? Well, I think we have uh, the perfect things. Uh, you do? That you're looking You've got some ideas. Oh, the tarantulas are great. Yeah, rattlesnake eggs. Uh, they're very popular. What should, okay, well, what's this? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that is just too good to be true. <laughs> These ought to liven up the trip a little. So off we go, and it's going to be sort of like a, a National Lampoon family vacation. You know, I was thinking more uh, Thelma and Louise, Brian. Jekyll and Hyde, something like that. <laughs> but before we get too far down the road, let's, uh, let's pull over and see exactly what the route is. Here's the route we pick. We'll go through Stockton, then hit the stunningly scenic Highway 88, which will take us through all kinds of small towns. And just past Kirkwood, we'll turn left on Highway 50 and head back west toward Placerville and Gold Country, where we'll face certain death on the American River. It's a scenic loop of lesser known delights. By the way, you should meet our crew. This is one of the men who've been doing all the planning, Ruben Manis. In fact, it's a good time to meet everybody. In fact, Carl Norberg, hey, producer. Hey. Branson Tarr, photographer. Chris Bellini. Photographer. There, you met the crew. Oh, and by gonna... the way, this is not only your transportation, it is your lodging. That's what do you right. mean your lodging? Liam and I are going to be sleeping aboard the RV while the crew is put up in palatial headquarters along the way. Wait a minute, I'm sorry. There is one bed on the RV. No, there's more than one bed. Oh, there is more yeah. than one bed? No, you'll be fine. No okay. idea how relieved I am. Oh, All really? Right, let's go. hit the road. All right, let's do it. We're going off on an RV trip. Me, Brian, and Barney. Barney. Who? Barney. That's Barney. He's the driver. Hey, Barney. I'll be honest with you. When I heard your name was Barney, I thought you were going to be big and purple with a big, uh, with a big beard. <laughs> yeah, I get that one a lot. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> All right, Barney, how you doing there? I'm doing great. <laughs> It's just an enjoyable, comfortable ride. You get to see the country, you get to smell the country, you get to feel the country. Yeah. That's what makes RVs so great. What does this country smell like to you, this part of the country? Peaches. 
When we said we were heading up the 88, people said you've got to stop at the fruit bowl in Waterloo, the spot for peaches and pies since 1947. And these peaches, Ralph, are they from nearby? Right in the back here. Wow. We can take a walk out and uh, let you guys fix them. I kind of put my fingers kind of so the peaches in between, like this. Oh, this is not a good one. Kind of like that. Would you hire a guy like this in your farm? I'm not sure yet. Yeah. I... <laughs> That's a good one to eat. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right, next stop, Ion. How far away from Ion? Uh, about 30 miles. It's funny, everyone's worried about the price they have to pay for fuel, so that's going to be a consideration. How many miles to the gallon will we do here? Well, it depends on your driving. Yeah. Anywhere from eight to 10 miles a gallon. Right. But you got to look at it like this. Yeah. So you're a family of four. Right. And you go, you want to go to Disneyland. Yeah. So airplane tickets cost money. Yep. Gas went up on airplane. Yeah. Hotel costs money. Right. Well, this is your hotel and your airplane all in one ticket. We're driving to a little town. It's called Isle. Isle. Farmers and fruit men tending the fields. Hoping for some money, money that they may yield. Here's Ion, a funky little town with a strange structure that looms above Main Street, the Preston Castle. Marie Nutting, by the way, who's kind enough to show us through this. Wow, this was a reform school for boys? Yes, yeah, so it was built in 1890 to 1894. It's first, one of the first uh, youth fa facilities. They were fairly young, some of them, and a lot of them weren't even uh, hardcore boys. They were maybe homeless boys or wayward boys that had no family or parents couldn't take care of them, and they would be even brought here. And I guess you had to take care of all these kids, too. Right, so yes. Yeah, so here we are in the infirmary. This was the uh, hospital room. It used to be on the third floor, and they, before they got an operating table, they had to do their operations on the floor. This creepy, crumbling place would make the perfect set for a horror movie. Man, if these walls could talk. The lady chef here was killed in the kitchen by one of the wards at one time, so. Uh, were you an inmate here? Yeah. Right? You looked the part. The castle closed in the mid-50s, replaced by a modern juvenile facility just next door. But you can still take a peek at the castle, if you dare. It is possible for people to come and see it. We have them come in the first and third uh, Saturdays of the month. Boy, that really was something, and I, I had no idea this old building was out here. And you know it's old when it's got these stairs rising into nowhere. You ever seen something like this? It's because more than a century ago, you'd climb up these stairs and onto your horse-drawn carriage. But of course, we've got a different kind of carriage to hit the road with. You ready, Liam? I am. Welcome aboard, Mr. Hackney. Coming up, Brian steps up his practical jokes on Liam. See how Liam quite literally jumps out of his skin. Plus, see what Brian found in a small town frozen in time. Welcome back, Brian Hackney here. Liam and I are on a week-long RV road trip to see the people and the places of undiscovered gold country. We've made it 40 miles east of Stockton to Ione. Well, we're about to meet a roper, a well, world champion roper. When I was a seven-year-old kid, my uncle roped me, got the lasso around my ankles, pulled me into midair, and I fell face first onto a stump and broke oh, my Brian. nose. To this day, he laughs hysterically when remembering this occasion. That's a really sad story. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's funny you should tell that story because I just happened to have my little violin right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, but that is why, ladies and gentlemen, Liam will be getting lassoed today and not me. Howdy. Hello, sir. Fraser West. Fraser West, good to see you. Now, where well, are we? Well, welcome to West Haven Longhorn Ranch. Frazier's a world champion roper, and he's still at it at age 90. Why not? Uh, Keeps you young. Ah! But I've been roping since about 10 years old. So what's the biggest award you've got? Oof. Well, as a world champion, 
This one's, that's what to say there, 91. You try to catch two feet, which is called two hockum. Yeah. Or if one foot, you call legging. Legging. Yeah. Leg, leg. Frazier has no trouble roping a longhorn. It's fun. Still fun, at my age. <laughs> I, on the other hand, don't quite have the nerves of steel. Is that, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. 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 And even Frazier had trouble with this guy. So next time, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to do a little bit of roping. All right, All right good. We, we have you back. Good. Right, All right, good. What do you think of this home on wheels? All right. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. <laughs> see you. Home on wheels. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Cheers. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon now. <laughs> From Ione, we drove to Jackson, straight to the Jackson Rancheria. The RV park here is our home for night number one. Is that a 2005 Merlot? You're the expert, uh, I just drink it. You know, I have often seen this parodied, I've often seen it in movies, but we're actually sitting in front of a trailer. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, in front of a recreational vehicle. Yeah. Eating wine, sitting in a lawn chair. Liam? You know, I like to drink my wine rather than eat it, but yeah. well, okay. to good health, yeah. to and the yours. RV life. Cheers, Brian. Okay, I've got a terrible confession to make. Liam and the gang are out to dinner. Underneath the top blanket, this is what I have secreted. It's a big, hairy, fake tarantula spider. So let's wait for him to return. Oh, I've got it all made up for you. How lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! 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 Go! Oh! 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 oh, oh. Ryan! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> Ryan. Got you, got you, got you. Just you are made. a horrible man. I know I am. That's why we work Good so night, well Brian. together. Good night, Brian. I'll get you back, Brian. Good night. Dream on. Which is what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm happy. Good night. The sun is shiny and it's happy. Cause you are in the RV. Get up, Mr. Hackney. Be happy. Oh! Oh my. Why do. Never wake me up like that in the morning. We're gonna get Hackney back. The old shaving cream in the hand trick is pretty good. Oh, shaving cream and hand then, I mean, Oh. All right, maybe we'll, we'll do that. <laughs> Here at the Jackson Rancheria, it is a casino. Whenever I come and gamble, it's not often, and it's not a lot of money when I do, but I just don't get lucky. It's obviously because I'm not feeling lucky, is that right? Lucky's a state of mind. It's a state of mind? It's a state of mind. Where are we heading today? We're starting out at a, a couple of tiny towns. Fiddletown. Yeah. Fiddletown. And then? And then we go to Volcano, a place I know you'll love because there's a cave there that you're a bit of a caveman, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, so you'll do that. Basically. I've been called that before. Leaving Jackson. On to Fiddletown. Let's go. Still to come, the guys visit some tiny towns with unusual names, and then it's into a spectacular cave where you can see how the roots of trees grow underground. Welcome back. We're on a road trip in a big green RV, heading through the Sierras on Highway 88. But before we go any further, some words of wisdom from our driver, Barney. Confucius and Mark Twain, they always had their say. Now it's time for the words of the day. It's witty and it's fun. And it's oh so bright. Now it's time for Barney's insight. Life is like an echo. You open the door and you scream, I hate you, I hate you comes back. You open the door and you scream, I love you, I love you comes back. We're taking a little detour off Highway 88 to visit a tiny little town. And Fiddletown was settled in 1849. Yep. You know, in the 1860s, it had 6,000 people there. Good Lord, now? Now there's just 200. Yeah. Why Fiddletown? Do you Be know? Because they didn't have anything to do in the summer for gold mining. Yeah. So uh, literally, they fiddled around all summer. Fiddletown. I love it. We will be greeted by a fiddle. 
You think so? Oh, I know so. Really? Here we are, Fiddletown. And remember I promised you a fiddle? You did. You lied. Brian, I've seen some big fiddles. That is a whopper. Yeah, that's one of the biggest, man. Yeah. When this town really was something during the gold rush, it was known for three other things apart from gold mining. Which were? Opium. Yeah. Masonry. And prostitution. Oh, really? Yeah. One of the more famous residents of the tiny little town of Fiddletown was a Chinese herbalist who was here in the last century. And this was where he worked. And it is just sitting here as if it is frozen in time. The coffee pots, the stove, the things hanging from the ceiling. It's as if he was here one day, gone the next. And now we're in the town of Volcano. Yeah, population 102. Unless you're coming in from the other side of town, because there the sign says the population's 101. So it depends on which direction you come to this. Yeah. Town. So why don't you take the high road? I'll take the low road. Done deal, Mr. Hackney. St. George Hotel, a really important part of Volcano's history. Elsa, you're in charge here. You're the manager, right? I am. But you do it all, eh? I do whatever comes up. Yeah. It's called multitasking. Multitasking. You do it well. Uh, this one was built in 1862. Volcano was also the first place they officially housed one of these, a three-inch refractor. This is not a refractor. It's the site of California's first observatory in the state. The Whiskey Flat Saloon is the epicenter of social activity here in Volcano. And there's one little tradition that if you come here, you have to partake in. Business card and dollar. There you go be remembered forever. <clears throat> the country store right here, it's been here since 1852, making it, as the plaque on the wall says right here, the oldest continuously operated store in California. Well, why should I tell you about the history of Volcano? When inside this old Bavarian brewery built in the 1850s, lives Ruth Gottstein, somebody who knows Volcano like the back of her hand. I do have to ask you, Ruth, where is the volcano? Now hold your breath. There is no volcano. There's no volcano. There's no volcano. No volcano. Uh, the early people who came here were struck by the symmetry of the valley, which ah. very much resembles the cone of a volcano. Ah, and ergo the name. And ergo the name. Okay, there's no volcano in Volcano, but there is an amazing natural wonder just outside of town. Liam's still shopping on Main Street, but when we come back, I'm gonna check out the Black Chasm Cavern. Oh my God, look at this, it's gorgeous. Welcome back. We're on an RV road trip heading into the Sierra, and we've made it to Volcano, California. In the meantime, I have taken a side trip because while the shops are fun and the history is fun, man, give me a rock, give me a cave, give me a cavern, give me geology, give me Carol Smith, who is going to be our tour guide. Carol, where are we and what are we gonna do? Where we are is we are at the Black Chasm Tavern in Volcano. And we are going to be doing a walking tour down into a vertical cave system. A lot cooler in here, isn't it, Carol? It's 58 degrees consistently year-round. The cave itself is approximately a million years old. Down here is the most spectacular part of the entire cave. It is not made from dripping, but from pressure. Wow, so this is literally being extruded exactly. from between the rocks. This is the dragon right here. Right next to him, we have a long-necked giraffe. This is actually a tree root coming down from the parking lot. Heaven's sake. And it has come through approximately 60 feet of solid marble. Over here, you can see the cave gargoyle. Look at that. Wow. Boy, that was cool. Now it's back to Highway 88 eastbound, stopping to take in a gorgeous vista. Look at this. Folks, is this an album cover shot or what? No, not the lovely shot of the Sierras. Look at this. 
We're almost at Silver Lake, but you know, we had to stop at Ham Station. Tom is the landlord, the governor here. You haven't been here since the gold rush, have you? I uh, missed a couple of generations, but <laughs> I've been here 28 years, so. You're one of the last survivors up here. Yep, but the place will survive. Look, little piece of history right here. It could be yours, and there's the price tag. Yours for just half a million dollars. Do you take uh, checks? Uh, I prefer cash, yeah. The sun set, it got dark, we got lost, but we finally made it to Plaza's resort at Silver Lake. Boy, what a way to end the day. This is absolutely perfect. And it was through Liam's advanced Boy Scout skills. No, it wasn't the crew did this. <laughs> thank you, man. crew. Thank, thank you, you very crew. much. Beautifully done. And thank, thank you to our crew, to our driver, Barney. JC's RVs. JC's RVs, yes, we do appreciate them as well. We got more adventures for you tomorrow for the next three nights, in yeah. fact. And you know, you wonder what people do in the summer at ski resorts, but well, yeah, we'll Kirkland. show you tomorrow. Liam is going to literally and figuratively get on his high horse. Tomorrow. Anything could happen. Go to our website uh, to hook up with some of the places we venture to. And that, of course, is Brian. CBS5.com slash Eye in the Bay. For now, I'm Brian Hackney. I'm Liam Maitlam. I brought the marshmallows. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. This is not, this is not bad at this all. This is not bad at all. Yeah. No, you're not going to snore tonight, right? No, promise. Yeah. I do have Promotional consideration and a special thanks to JC's RVs in Livermore for the ride of a lifetime and by the Jackson Rancheria and Classes Resort.